How often should I wash that? Come on in, welcome to my home. Today's question comes in a lot, and it comes from a lot of different people who are asking how often they should wash things. And I'm gonna go off of my experience and also my research and tell you flat up, up front, that some of these things I didn't know that I should be doing until I started really researching this, so don't feel bad if you're not doing them either. And some of them are subjective. Let's do the, this is the washing, so this is the laundry edition. All right, let's start off with the simple things. When it comes to underwear, the clothing that you wear closest to your body, how often should you wear, wash that? It should be washed at least once per every use. <laughs> what do I mean by at least? It, it, it is. It's once per every use. Because those are the things which are closest to your body. They get all the oils and dirt transferred from your body onto them. So wash them after every use makes sense. Okay, let's talk about things which are sort of a little different now. Okay, we talk about pajamas. How often should you wash your pajamas? Well, let's think about this one. Okay, uh, if it is hot and you are sweaty at night, it's just like your underwear. You wash it at least once per use. Now, if it is cooler, then it becomes subjectionable. You could wash it every two to three uses or once a week. That's up to you. That is if you are sleeping in them. If you are not sleeping in them and they're just sort of lounge around kind of things, you could wash them about once a week or as they need it. Because you can tell if they get to that point where they just don't feel exactly right, go ahead and wash them. All right, let's talk about your outerwear. Shirts, those sort of things, pants. You're gonna want to wash those for every two to three uses or as needed. Once again, if you're out in the fields and you're getting muddy and they're all muddy, but you've only worn it one time, wash them. <laughs> wash them. It's okay to wash them. Uh, if you are doing something like you're in the office and you're going to wear it again to the office, you have to wash that thing right away? <clears throat> not necessarily. I mean, really, not necessarily. Uh, it just depends upon how dirty or where you are. Now, I have worked in places where it, even though I did not get sweaty, they did not really get dirty, I just felt like they were dirty when, they, when I came home. So I would wash them after every time I was there. It just depends. But every two to three uses is on average. Okay. Winter coats, hoodies, those sort of things. Well, so once again, you're looking at when they need it or with big heavy coats seasonally. Yeah. And it's really kind of simple that way. All right. Now let's talk about the other things that we have. Bed sheets. I'm going to tell you this straight up. Uh, most people, scientists, will say they need to be washed uh, one to two, uh, once every two to three times of use. Most people don't do that. I'm, I wash mine once a week. That's plain and simple. What, same with towels. They say the same thing. You need to wash your towels uh, once every two to three times you use it. Uh, I do mine once a week. Okay, what about your comforters and those sort of things? Well, okay, comforters I do seasonally. Pillows, seasonally. And I mean by pillows, I mean the actual pillow that goes in, the, the pillow that's inside of my pillow sham. It is seasonally. All of those bed coverings I do seasonally unless, which I'm notorious for, I'll admit this, unless I do something strange where I like cover up my head and hold the uh, blanket or whatever it is really close to my face and I've been sweating, then I'll wash it when it needs it. So yeah, use some common sense on that. Okay, we've gone through that. What about your blankets? Once again, wash as needed or seasonally. It just depends what you need. In the bathroom with your towels, of course, your towels, <laughs> that's up to you. Washcloths, go with the towels. Okay, curtain, a shower curtain. Your inner liner ha should be washed about once a week. I am guilty of not doing this once a week and I'm going to try to do it once a week and see how this works out. The outer shower curtain, if you have one or just the decorative thing, is seasonally. Your curtains themselves, you need to clean those seasonally. Yeah, that's pretty simple. The throw rugs that you have down, I've been told that they need to be washed about once a week. <laughs> um, I only do mine seasonally and am I going to change this? No. I'm not going to change this, simply because I really feel that my throw rugs in my bathroom only need to be cleaned seasonally. 
it's that simple. I mean, they really don't get that dirty, that sort of thing, so I would stick with seasonally. Uh, then let's go into the other rooms. Slip covers. Now my slip covers probably get washed once a month or a little more often because I have a furry little friend who likes to jump up on the sofa and she gets hair everywhere, dirt everywhere. So yes, I do those at least once a month. If you do not, you need to look at washing your slip covers probably seasonally or as needed. The same thing holds true with your pillow covers, any sort of those things they need to be cleaned as needed. Does this mean that you should wash them? This means that you should <laughs> clean them in the way that it says on whatever item that you have. If it says dry clean only, then you should do what you feel is appropriate to in that sort of situation. There are other ways that you can get out around taking them to the dry cleaner. If you want to hear those, let me know down in the comments and I can show you some ways that you can get around those. Okay, dish towels and sponges and dish rags. Okay, this is a big one. I consider your dish rag and your sponge, the thing that you use to clean off your dirty dishes, and you are also scrubbing brush, those sort of things, as the same thing. Here's what I do. When it comes to my scrubbing brush, I put my scrubbing brush in my dishwasher at least once a week or more often. Uh, my dish towel, my dish rags, and a sponge, if I actually had a sponge, I would clean those after every use. What do I need, mean by cleaning them? There's this really cool thing. Okay, you can take a dish rag and a sponge and put it in your microwave and microwave it for about 30 seconds to a minute. It will clean everything that's in there that could possibly be in there because let's face it, it's a dish rag. It goes through all of that icky gross stuff. So make sure that you really wash it well, rinse it out, and then microwave it and it's clean. Let it air dry completely, not in a spot where it's not going to have air circulating around it, and then it is really good to go for the next use. Then, once a week, I will completely and totally wash those. Makes sense. Dish towels are sort of different because with my dish towel, I'm only using that to occasionally dry things because most of the stuff I dry in my washer, I dry in my dishwasher. So the dish towels I do once a week. That one's pretty simple. How about the other things? Well, let's see what else is there. I do have rags that I use and they get washed after every use or every two to three uses depending upon if I microwave them. Really simple. Oh yeah, by the way, if when you microwave something, keep an eye on it. Don't let it burn. I, we don't want it to be burned. Uh, if you want to know more about how to clean your sponges or dish rags in the microwave, let me know down in the comments. I can do a video on that. I think that's about everything when it comes to laundry, except for one thing, my laundry basket. I clean my laundry basket and clean out my laundry basket thoroughly at least once a month. Why do I do that? Well, because my laundry basket has dirty laundry in there, and you'd be, you'd be surprised at how dirt can fall off of whatever clothes you throw into it and actually get into, the, get into the laundry basket. So I do clean it once a month. That way I'm sure that it is fresh and everything. Thing. So if there's something that you wanna know how often you should wash that, let me know down in the comments so that way I can cover that. If you have questions or suggestions or ideas, let me know down in the comments. And also, how do you feel about that? Do you do those things? Do you not do those, thing, those things? Do you think they are done too much or too little? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check out my Patreon which helps keep this channel going and I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.